I can't even begin to tell you how excited I am to dive into this episode. I'm upset that I'm a day late. I wanted to drop this yesterday, but I had promised that I would do a full day Elden Ring stream. It was supposed to be 12 hours. We went to like 15 hours. For anybody that is interested, we do game on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Dwayne TV. I appreciate you guys that did stop in. Now we got to dive into some kaiju number eight. This man was captured. Mina knows who he is. Hoshina knows who he is. Like, cast out the bag. What happens from here is going to be interesting. I mean, I'm sure they want to do some tests on him, find out, like, how all this happened, question him, figure out what's going on. But at the end of the day, I feel like they're going to end up using him as a tool. I didn't think that they were all going to find out who he was so soon because I felt like this was going to be one of the underlying stories that kind of played out slowly but surely throughout maybe a couple of seasons. But they know who this man is right now, right off the bat. So we're going to have to find out where we go from here. I thought maybe Hoshina would find out who he was. And everybody else wouldn't know and that he was going to be accepting of him because he saves his life. But here we are. So only one way to find out what happens next. Let's dive in. Let's see. <laughs> Definitely use it as a living weapon. It's a person. Like, I understand the fear and, and the thought process of that we should just get rid of it, utilize it for weapons and so on and so forth, but it clearly is helping you. There are so many instances that they can talk on that it's helped and saved people, especially in this last situation where it saved an entire city of people from dying. So at that point, you have to consider, like, let's, let's have a conversation with it. Let's see where things are going from here and why, it, you know, it's doing what it's doing and what, you know, like get, get an idea of what's happening. Don't just dispose of it. That makes no sense to me. But at the same time, I understand that fear because it is so powerful that you figure, okay, cool, it helped us. But if suddenly it decides not to, we're going to have our guard down because we're going to be trusting of it. And that could be a problem. So I, I can understand both sides of it, but come on now. Give my man Kafka a chance. I feel bad. This man was so excited about being a part of that division and how good everybody was doing. And like he felt like he finally made his dream come true. And now he's locked up. It's a sad day. Nobody has any questions? I get that the HQ wants him, but you guys should want to know more about this too. I feel like I'd be talking, trying to explain it to them, let them know what happened and how it happened, and that I just want to help you guys. I know it's not their decision, but it doesn't hurt to kind of, you know, put it out there. お待ちま、先輩。戻ってくるって。信じてますから。え?まあ、<笑> That's cool that she said that. He's in love. <laughs> My girl, let's go. That's cool. That's cool to find out that they actually respect and understand where he's coming from and that he's there to help them. The kaiju saved everybody there's life, including the entire town. Suck my dick. This whole process is going to be interesting. 
だってあのプニバラのおっさんだぜなあれの<笑>日比野さん私を怪獣から助けてくれたんですそりゃ俺だってさおっさんに決めるのは俺たちじゃない人間が怪獣になったって事実は軽くはないこの事実が公表されれば世界中がパニックになる戻ってきてもらわんと困るあいつ僕と戦った時手抜いてたんやなめくさって<笑>今度は本気でやってもらうで He just wants that challenge My girl Kikaru 入る Is she gonna talk to her father about trying to help out? なんだ日々のカフカの処分撤回をお願いしに参りました私自身彼に命を救われていますそんなくだらん失態の話をしに来たのか This man is disrespectful 見てみろ奴の胸部 X 線画像だ左胸にあるもの心臓によく似せてあるが角だ Of course he has a core He turns into a kaiju That's what they have But that doesn't change the fact that He saved her What are we talking about? Using her mom against her like that? That's Papa, dirty. So the demo, what is your? I saw Shinji Tai. Tokuni, you should not shinji in war. But I know Kakine, who is the excess. He be no Kafka to Stachka to tie in or Barabara Niste, can she sit some more in Anjanai? This guy. It's probably right. He be no Kafka, a Kanke and I. Jijo, a Wakarimasta. You can have a Hokano Butani, you get to your demo. So does it. Or you are die some Butani. Antony, I go got it. やりますえもうちょっと考えてから答えろよやります<笑>防衛隊内部の事情なので詳細は言えないのですがどうしても助けたい男がいるんですはい可能性が低いことは分かっています Who is it that he wants to save? 自衛隊の元上司と電話してたカフカの処分に口を聞いてくれそうなお偉いさんにつないでくれってな意外だな言っただろう誰も失いたくないって日々のカフカは俺たち第三部隊の仲間だ。ふぅ、here we go。See, the problem with this guy is that he's got a vendetta because of the fact that his wife was killed by a kaiju. So he's going to be so much less likely to be understanding and try to see it from the other side of things because to him, all kaiju are horrible. They're all horrible. And, and, and for the most part, he's right. They, they are. This is just that one difference. And I just don't know that he's going to see it, at least not yet. And even if they do end up accepting and letting him go back to the third division, I feel like this guy is going to be the one guy that's going to be on his ass nonstop waiting for him to slip up so he can go in there and kill him. I was gonna say, I feel like he could get out of that if he wanted to anyway. No, no, no. I get what he's doing. I feel like he's attacking him because he's like, listen, if this is an actual kaiju, if he's just pretending to be a human and I start to shoot and fire at him, he inevitably is going to fight back. He's not just gonna let this happen and keep trying to explain himself, he's going to go into survival mode. That's got to be what he's doing right now. Maybe not. This isn't good. ドライバーおよび怪獣二号細胞との同調オールクリア FS1002 起動完了ならばその姿のまま死ぬがいい怪獣八号の処理を開始する This is not at all what I anticipated He's gonna try to take him out right now Something is gonna change his mind I think it's just the fact that he's only gonna play defense and not try to fight back That's the only thing I can think right now かつて防衛隊史上最強と歌われた男だいぶ怪獣らしくなってきたな長官の駆動限界まで
怪獣と対峙した時と同じ感覚。召喚から大怪獣のキャラ。怪獣2号。1972年札幌市を壊滅寸前まで追い込んだ。その2号をベースに作られたスーツとアームをこの世で唯一乗りこなしたのが君の父